Hi everybody, this is Nafish. Today we are going to do some convolution um, operation in NumPy. So let's get started. First of all, we need to import NumPy as np and then we create two arrays x is let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 3 and then we have y is equals to 4, 5, 6. Okay. So we have two arrays and we are going to do convolution of these two arrays. So how can we do that? Is np dot convolv and then we have x and y. Okay. Run it. Okay. So this is the answer we get. Now how we are getting the answer? That is the uh, that is the thing we need to understand. Okay. So Let's imagine we have, I'm just writing down the numbers, 1, 2, 3, then we have 4, 5, and 6, okay? So convolution, when we are doing convolution, we have to first reverse the array. So it's, we need to reverse it. So if we reverse it, we get 3, 2, and 1, okay? So we flip it and we have 3, 2, and 1. So first array. 1, 2, and 3, we flip it, and then we have 3, 2, and 1. Now, this is going to be sliding operation, meaning one at a time, one bit at a time, okay? So first, we, are, we have this signal, for example, like we have this signal, and we are trying to convolute with this signal. So first, we have to have like one bit at a time. So 1, we'll go with 4, okay? And then... Let's say the first item will be 1 times 4 and then we don't have anything for 5 and 6. So imagine these are 0 and 0. Okay. So then 0 times 5 plus 0 times 6 okay, is equal to, it's going to give you 4. Okay. So that's how we got the first element. Now let's go to the second one. So here again we have let's copy this part. Okay. Copy, paste it here. So we have three, two, one. Now we slide one more, okay? One bit. So if we slide one bit, then it's going to be like this. So four and two, one and five, and nothing on six. So imagine zero. Okay. Now this is going to be again uh, two times four times four plus one times five plus zero times six. Okay. So it's going to give you eight and five, thirteen, and then this is zero. Now, for the next one, it's going to be complete overlap, right? So, 3, 2, and 1. And then in the bottom, we have 4, 5, and 4, 5, and 6. So, in this case, you are going to get 3 times 4 plus 2 times 5 plus 1 times 6. So, the answer is 12. You get 10 here. And you get 6 here. Okay. So this is um, 12 plus 10, 22, and 6, 28. Okay. So that's how you get 28 here. Now the next one, this is there will be one shift, one bit shift again. So the one will go out this time. Okay. So we will have 0, then 3, and then 2, and we'll have. 4, 5, and 6. Okay. This 0 is imaginary. Okay. So since there is nothing there, so we're just assuming a 0. Okay. So then we'll have 0 times 4 plus 3 times 5 plus 2 times 6. So this is going to be 0 here, then 15, and then 12 is 27. Okay. Now, Again, shift one bit. So now 
will have 0, then 0, and then 3. Because these two will go out, and you know, um, since there is nothing there, we'll just imagine a 0. And then we will have 4, 5, and 6. This 4, 5, and 6 will be same all the time. We'll just be shifting this the first array. Okay. So shift the first array one bit at a time. So now, you know, here we'll have this is 0, this is 0, and 3 times uh, 3 times 6 is going to give you 18. So you get 18. So one thing we need to know how many elements we have and what is the output we are going to get. So first array got 1, 2, 3 elements. The second one got 1, 2, and 3, 3 elements. So the output is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the equation is m plus n, m plus n minus 1. Okay. So it's going to give you. So we had 3 elements, then we have 3 elements, then minus 1 is 5. Okay. So the output is going to be always less than the summation of the input arrays. Okay. So this is, uh, so just to recap. You know when we are doing convolution we first need to uh, reverse or flip the first array okay so here we are flipping it 3 2 and 1 okay and then one bit at a time so if we are just going to put one on one at a time so one and we're going to be overlapped with 4 and then there is nothing on 5 and 6 there is no signal overlapping on 5 and 6 so these are zeros okay so 1 times 1 times 4 then 0 times 5 then 0 times 6 okay so the first element is 4 then we shifting again one bit so 1 0 goes out then and uh, 1 is going to be overlapping with 5 this time and 2 is going to be overlapping with 4 this time and then we multiply and add get, going to get 13 okay so this is and now when we have the complete overlap 3 2 1 and 4, 5, 6 is going to give you 18. So this is the process uh, for convolution. You know, we don't need to do all these things like, you know, by hand, but just for understanding like how we are getting all these values here, how we are going to get the output. This is just a very basic explanation, okay? Usually, like, we have very complicated uh, multiplications there, and, you know, usually we do not, we just, this is just for understanding.